Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's solve this problem. So determine the vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, and directrix of the parabola with the given equation, and sketch the graph. So we have this given equation, and these are the steps to solve for this problem. But first, since we can reduce this equation because every terms are divisible by 2. So we need to reduce this equation first by dividing every terms by 2. So we have 2 divided by 2, this one is 1, then x squared, then minus 12 divided by 2, this one is 6, then x plus 28 divided by 2, this one is 14, then y minus 38 divided by 2, this one is 19, then e equals 0. So this time, we can use now the steps to solve for this problem. So first, variable with exponent 2 on the left side and the rest transpose to the right side. Since on this equation, x is the variable with exponent 2, so therefore, x on the left side and the rest transpose to the right side. So we have x squared minus 6x, then equals, so transpose to the right side, this becomes negative 14y and positive 19. Then do completing the square for the equation on the left side. So to do completing the square for this equation, so just take the coefficient of x. That's 6, then divide this one by 2, then take the squared. So we have 6 divided by 2, this one is 3, and 3 squared, that's 9. Then add this number to this equation. So we have now x squared minus 6x, then plus this number plus 9, then equals, so that's negative 14y plus 19. Then take note that the number you added on the left side must also be added on the right side. Since you add 9 on the left side, so we also need to add 9 on the right side. Then apply factoring and simplify. So to factor this equation of x, so we have factors of x squared that's x times x. Then since this one is negative, so therefore that's minus. And factors of 9, that's 3 times 3. So we have now x minus 3, then to the power 2. And on the right side, so we need to simplify this equation. So we have negative 14y, then 19 plus 9, that's positive 28. Then the last one, so coefficient of the variable on the right side must be factored out. So since we have this coefficient of the variable on the right side, that's negative 14. So we need to put this one outside. So we have now x minus 3, then to the power 2, then equals. So put this negative 14 outside. So this becomes y. Then this positive 28 divided by negative 14. Since positive divided by negative, so that's negative. And 28 divided by 14, that's 2. So this is now the standard equation of this parabola. Then if the given equation of the parabola is x squared, then the parabola opens upward or downward. But if the given equation of the parabola is y squared, then the parabola opens to the left or to the right. Since the given equation is x squared, so therefore this parabola is either opens upward or downward. But since this standard equation the same with this formula, that's x 
minus 8 squared, then equals, since this one is negative, so we're going to use negative 4p, then times y minus k. Since x squared, so that uh, opens downward or upward, but since this one is negative, so therefore, the parabola opens downward. Then to solve for the vertex, since vertex, that's h and k, and from the standard equation, this one is h and this one is k. So the vertex now, we have h, since this one is minus 3, so therefore, h is positive 3. And for k, since this one is minus 2, so therefore, k is positive 2. So this is now the vertex of this parabola. Then solve for p, so solve for uh, p. So, to solve for p, we just need to equate these two numbers. This negative 4p equals negative 14 to solve for p. So, that's negative 4p equals negative 14. So, to solve for p, divide both sides by negative 4. Cancel. So, therefore, p is equal to so negative divided by negative, that's positive. And this 14 divided by 4, so we can reduce this equation because both numbers divisible by 2. So 14 divided by 2, that's 7. Over 4 divided by 2, that's 2. So therefore, P is equal to 7 over 2. Then to solve for this uh, focus, so, to so solve for focus, since vertex, vertex is 3, 2, so vertex is 3 and 2, then P, P is 7 over 2, so P is 7 over 2. So, to solve for uh, focus, so, if the parabola opens upward, then focus, this is the formula, h, then k plus p, and direct x, y equals k minus p. But if the parabola opens downward, then focus, that's h, k minus p, and direct x, that's y, equals k plus p. Since this parabola opens downward, so therefore, we're going to use this formula to solve for focus and direct tricks. So focus, that's h, then k minus p. Then from the vertex, this one is h, and this one is k. So to solve now for focus, so we have 3, then k, that's 2, then minus p, that's 7 over 2. Then to simplify, so we have 3, so we can use cross multiplication for this equation, so this one is over 1, so 2 times 2, that's 4, then minus 1 times 7, that's 7, then over 1 times 2, that's 2, then reduce or simplify, so 3, 4 minus 7, that's negative 3 in over 2. So this is now the focus of this parabola. And for direct tracks, so to solve for direct tracks, so using this formula, so we have y equals k is 2, then plus p, that's 7 over 2. So using cross multiplication, so this one is over 1, so we have 2 times 2, that's 4, then plus 1 times 7, that's 7, then over 1 times 2, that's 2. 
So therefore, directrix is equal to 4 plus 7, that's 11 over 2. So this is now the equation of the directrix. And for the last one, the axis of symmetry. So if we're going to graph this parabola, so this is x, this one is y. So from the given vertex, so that's uh, 3, so x is positive 3, 1, 2, 3, and y, that's positive 2, so 1, 2. So therefore, this point is the vertex. Then since the parabola opens downward, so therefore, this is now the parabola. And to solve for this axis of symmetry, so we just need to cut this parabola. So this is the axis of symmetry and that's x equals to 3. So for the axis of symmetry, x is equal to 3. So this is now the equation of the axis of symmetry.